Hey there everyone, Flame Place here, and this is a hard video to make. This is uh, it's a hard one. Um, if you did not know, and you didn't pick it up in the intro, Pixel Dip is going to be quitting YouTube. Now, this has been a long time coming. I see a lot of people that are very surprised by this. It was in an announcement I think made over a year ago at this point, in like June of 2019, when we did the trailer for the summer releases of that year uh but he was intending to stop youtube as soon as he started university um and that never really came to fruition he's just been trying to do it on the side and as he said he really wants to focus on his design work and i think we should all respect that because um, these videos take forever to make and even though they have gotten so much better over the years my hero academia episode 5 the final video that um pixel Deb is going to be putting out which a lot of people did not get from the video, as I saw in the comments, but the final video he's putting out is all of the best tips and tricks, like all of the best stuff that Pixel Dip has learned over the years, all of the best stuff that I have learned over the years, and new stuff. I recently got a, a plugin pack that I've been playing around with, so these edits for the final episode are going to be crazy. Uh, so I really hope you look forward to those. Uh, but I just really want to thank Owen and Pixel Dip for the opportunities he's given me over the years. I started f almost four years ago now. I just randomly reached out to him and I was like, you know, can I possibly edit one of your videos? And he was the nicest person in the world. I got brought on, I, I made skins, I built the map, I edited the entire video for this first series, Yokai High, which uh, only got one episode. So <laughs> um, yeah, didn't didn't end too well there. But uh, that's because the world got corrupted. But then I went on to work on Ben 10, went on to work on Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, uh, Ben 10 Ultimate, and then so many more. Mario Odyssey, I went a little overboard. Something I don't think that you just saw in the montage um, is that I do a lot of building that isn't really that big a part of the episodes. Like the animations and stuff, it's very noticeable. Uh, when you see those come up, um, and I've been doing those as well. But at the beginning, I was doing a lot of building. Like, I built the Yokai High set. I built the a lot of the kingdoms for Super Mario Odyssey before I got um, sidetracked to other projects um, that I was told to work on. But a lot of the building is done. I built most of this building. I've had uh, help, obviously, because I can't do this by myself. But the exterior, the design... Um, I was the major one behind it. I have another set that I want to show you, which is also, um, I don't know, I wasn't given permission to show this one, so hopefully he won't kill me. Uh, but this is a, a bank that I recently worked on, and this is some of the best building I think that I've ever done on the channel. If you look, I also did an interior for this one using uh, Kokorod or Korkorod or whatever, and Chisel and Bits, and I think it's just. It's it's crazy to see how far we've come, especially since I've only been doing this for like three and a half years. My animations have improved incredibly, like exponentially. If, if you were looking at some of the health bars from the Sun and Moon era, and some of the health bars from the Sword and Shield era, or even like the later, I changed the health bars like four times during Sun and Moon. I, at first it was just like an oval, and I was like, no, that's boring. Then I made it a rectangle, then I went back to the oval, then I went back to the rectangle. In Sword and Shield, I've stayed consistent, <laughs> so that's good. Um, but yeah, I was definitely learning my style. I was definitely learning how I was going to do things. Uh, now my animations are better than they've ever been, <laughs> and I have all of that. I owe all of that to Owen to because he is giving me this chance to find what I enjoy doing and this is what I would enjoy doing I would never give this up for anything in the world and the fact that everyone that watches this channel enjoys it as much as I enjoy and he enjoys making it is just um, it's really great to see and though it's ending none of the videos will get taken down the channel will still stay up you can go back you can watch old series you can watch new series um, which I recommend because those have taken hundreds of hours of work and I, I think it, it really just, it shows when you look at the uh, comments. He's had one of the highest view years ever, and just the uh, amount of time has definitely been paying off.
But uh, I, I can't really say much more because this video is going to get extremely long and I could talk all day. But I just want to say thank you <laughs> to Owen. I, I don't want to stop working together. I know that he's going to go on to university. I mean, he's already in university, but he's going to go on and graduate. He's going to go work in design. He's going to shake up the industry. Um, but, you know, I hope we can still work on projects together in the future, even though this is the end of Pixel Dip. And I am not great with goodbyes. <laughs> I'm really trying my hardest here. Uh, the montage, uh, the only reason I'm not as emotional as I would be is because the montage took me all day to edit, and I still have a ton of editing and building to do for My Hero Academia. So it's not over yet. But um, when it does end, I think I will be um, a little more upset because, you know, I, I saw the comments. It's a big part of a lot of people's childhood. Like, a lot of people, and it's weird to say, grew up watching Pixel Dip, and they still watch Pixel Dip, and I, that's crazy to be a part of something, and crazy to be a part of something that has an impact on people. So I'm sad that it's over, but I'm excited for what Pixel Dip does, what Owen does, uh, and what I do in the future, because I've gotten so much experience from working for him and working with him. And um, I'm excited to uh, take it to other projects. I've already been working on my channel a whole lot more this year than I have in past years um, with all the building stuff and most of that skill that I acquired from working with Pixel Dip. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do stuff that I want to do because a lot of the time I am very busy with school and a lot of the time I'm busy with editing for Pix. So I don't have a lot of free time just to do what I want. Um, so I'm really excited to have that again. Also, I noticed this build is asymmetrical, so I'm going to fix that after I end this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to do uh, my own stuff. I'm never going to be able to live up to this in terms of quality, in terms of monetary funds, because <laughs> these episodes are expensive. Um, but I hope I can do something similar. And I know a lot of people, I've met a lot of people through this, a lot of really talented people. And um, yeah, I hope that... That is enough said, because I, I don't I don't know what else to say. I mean, I do, but whatever. I'm going to end it here. This has already been a 10-minute segment. So, guys, if you did enjoy this montage, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Go subscribe to Pixel Dip, even though it'll be for only like a month or so. When that final video drops, you want to be there. It is going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, it's been a journey, and it's, it's coming to an end. But, you know, all ends mean new beginnings is that the saying i don't know i don't philosophy is hard was that a philosophical statement i think it was just something i saw on instagram once <laughs> anyway i'm gonna end this <laughs> have a nice day guys i'll see you all soon bye bye <laughs>